I am Logan Press. There is always a background image with a cat. I can expand the width of the logo as you can see right now. Go ahead now and copy this URL. Let's paste the link over here. And there you go. Monk has automatically been logged in. Alrighty, welcome to another episode of the Web Monkey, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can customize your login and registration pages using a really nifty plugin known as Login Press. And it says, I am Login Press, I am innovating WordPress login page. I will help you to customize your boring login page into a stylish login landing page. It is by WP Brigade and this is a really, really cool plugin and it's very useful if you have like a membership site or you have a site where people have to create a profile where they have to log in and log out. This is the plugin you can use to customize such pages and it's really useful. They do have a premium version which we'll talk about a bit later but for now I'm going to show you what you can do with the free version. So go ahead, install or rather download, install, and then activate the plugin. Now, once you do that, simply log out. Just straight up go ahead, log out of your WordPress website, and you should see something very similar to what I'm seeing right now, which is the background image. So by default, as soon as you activate the plugin, it will provide a default uh, image for your background login page and right now you can see it's beginning to look better already even without us doing anything so let's go ahead now and log back in all right so from the back end you should see the login press tab right here click on settings so the very first option right here would be to enable recapture unfortunately this feature is only available with the premium version of the plugin but nevertheless there's some pretty cool things we can do right here first of all we can enable custom password fields on the registration form now by default let me just log out again the default WordPress register page only has the username and then the email fields that's all it has so if you decide to enable the custom password fields the user will be able to create his or her password when he or she is registering on your site for the very first time. So you enable this. Let's save our changes. Let's now go back and log out. Let's go back to register. And now you can see we have the password and then the confirmed password fields added. So really, really awesome. Let's go back. All right, so next up we have the login order. You can allow users to either use their username or the email address or even both of them. And then finally, if after you've made so many changes and you just want to go back to the default settings of the plugin, you can just come in here and tick this button on and that will do the job for you. All right, awesome. Let's save changes. Now let's click on the WordPress customizer. Okay, the link right here. This is where you can actually begin to really customize how your login and registration pages should look like. So from here right now, I'm going to click on Login Press. You can see that. I'm going to click there. Now, Themes. Let's click there. Now, you can see by default, this is the one that comes for free. Unfortunately, to unlock these additional themes, you need to go with the premium version of the plugin. But don't worry. We've got some really cool stuff right here. Google Fonts, unfortunately, is only available with the premium feature. But don't worry. Let's jump down to the logo. Now, this is where you can actually begin to customize really cool stuff with the free version of the plugin. So I'm going to click on logo. So right here, right now, I am going to try and remove this default WordPress logo and I'm going to add mine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on select image and I'm going to go ahead now and choose web monkey. Let's choose that image. Okay. So right now you can see that the image is kind of big but I can expand the width of the logo as you can see right now. And that is perfect. You can see that's perfect. You can also change the height if you need to accommodate more. Already, if your logo needs to accommodate more space, you can increase the height as well. You can also add extra padding at the bottom. You can also add a link for your logo URL. You can also add a logo hover title. So let's just say, you know, hey, all right, so if I hover right now over the look, you can see we have, hey, so <laughs> that's just something you can do. All right, 
I'm gonna go ahead and click back now, all right? Let's now go to the background, all right? Let's click on background. So you have the option of choosing a background color. You can also go with a background image as well. So we have quite a few here available for you for free. So you can choose any one that, uh, that you like. Oh, there's one with the cat. <laughs> There is always a background image with a cat. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with this one. But you can go ahead and choose your own uh, background image. Actually, let me do that. I'm going to go ahead and select an image. And let me try using this one right here. You can see it's 1024 by 640. I'm going to go ahead and use this background image. And... Uh... <laughs> Okay, that's uh, not exactly the best kind of background image, but whatever. Over here, I wanted to show you some values that you could use to customize how your background image is going to look like. So first off, we have the background repeat. Now, this is useful if your background image isn't big enough. So you can tell WordPress to keep on repeating your background image until it fully occupies your background. That is what repeat would do. Repeat X would only repeat your backgrounds, your background images width, okay? Repeat Y would only repeat your background images height. That's what that will do. Over here, you have the position. This will slightly displace uh, the way your background image is displayed. So you have left center, you have options like left, uh, left bottom, you have center bottom. Again, it all depends on your background image. Now, background image size is very important auto what auto does is that you're basically telling wordpress to display your background image in a manner that it feels is the best so it's not always the best option you have cover what cover does is that it tells wordpress to make sure that your background image always occupies the full width and height of your background the reason why this can be a problem is because if you use a background image that isn't big enough, WordPress will stretch that image to make sure that it occupies your full background. So this could leave your background image uh, blurry as a result. Now contain is kind of like the opposite. What contain does is that it makes sure that your background image always looks good. So if the image isn't big enough, WordPress will not stretch the image. But if, on the other hand, the image is too big for your background, WordPress will proportionally scale down the background image until it looks good, it fully occupies uh, your background's width and height. So feel free to play around with, with, with all these options, but my best advice to you here would be to use a background image that's big enough. Go for images that are about 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's it for background. Let's jump onto the customized login form. So over here, you can customize the actual form itself. You can change the width, make it really, really wide, or you can make it really narrow. You can change the form minimum height. You can also add a border as well to your form. So you have a sample right here of two pixels dotted black. So you can change two pixels to let's say 10 pixels to make it really thick. You can change dotted as an example to let's say solid you can also go with double and so on and you can also change the color as well awesome you have some additional values here for customizing the forms background the input fields and so on you can also customize your forget form here as well by adding a background image or a background color recapture is only available with the premium version now you have button beauty where you can customize the actual login button itself so we can change the default value to, let's say, red. We can also add a hover color of, let's say, black. So right now, if anyone hovers their mouse over the button, it changes to black. So you have those options over there. You can also customize the different kinds of messages that a user would get depending on the outcome of their login attempt or their registration attempt. So you can get really, really creative here. So for example, if anyone adds the incorrect password, by default, the message here says invalid password. You can say something like, are you trying to hack me? You know, something like that. Like you can get really, really creative with the kinds of messages that your users would get, depending on what it is that they're trying to do. You can also customize the welcome messages as well. 
you can also customize the form footer. So lost your password, you can change the text to something else, or you could even just decide to hide all of this if you wanted to. And that's the option right here. You can decide to just turn this off. So right now you don't have any more messages in the footer. So you have other options of changing the text size, the footer text of a color, the back to text display and so on and so forth. Lots of options for you to play around with. And finally, you have the custom CSS and, GS and JavaScript. So if you have code that you want to add, this is where you can do so. So that's it for the free version of the plugin. Let me show you one really cool additional add-on that you can install right now. Let me go ahead and publish my changes first of all. Now let's close this. Now let's go back to login press. Now over here, click on add-ons. All right, click on add-ons. And you can actually install this free login logout menu, which would allow you to add uh, a login button or a logout button to your menu. Okay, so let's activate that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to my appearance, go to my menus. And for me right now, you can see we have the login logout menu. So these are the different kinds of tabs you can add to your main menu. So you can add a, a logout, for example, you can add a profile. Let's add that in here, custom links. Let's save our menu. And now let's go to my front page. And now you can see we have the logout button. We have the profile button here as well. I click on logout. And as you can see, I am logged out. Pretty cool, right? All right, so what I want to show you right now would be the premium versions of the plugin. This is the actual website, wpbrigade.com. I'm going to scroll all the way down here, and the devs do have four different types of premium versions. They have the basic for 29 bucks, where you have extra stuff like Google Fonts, Recapture, and then the pre-designed login templates. You can use it on one website and you also get one year support and one year of updates. Plus has everything in basic and then with auto login, social login, you can use it on three websites. Pro, in my opinion, is the best of all of them, but it's also one of the most expensive at $1.99. But then you get everything in plus and then limit login attempts, login redirects, login widgets. So you actually get enhanced security features with this particular uh, version. There is another one which is the ultimate license which is 499 and that gives you lifetime updates and premium support. So what I want to do is to quickly show you what I've done. I actually got the pro version and as you can see right now I have installed all the necessary uh, extra add-ons that comes with the pro version of the plugin. So I'm going to give you a very quick walkthrough of how these things look like. All right, so first off, we have the login press login widget, which would allow users to log in and log out from your sidebar. And it is fully customizable, by the way. And this is exactly how it's going to look like on your front page or wherever you choose to display the widget. You have the username, password, where users, users can log in, but they also have links for register or lost your password as well. With the basic premium version of the plugin, you also have access to all the pre-designed templates and I actually like startup. I'm going to go ahead and choose startup. And you also have access to the different kinds of Google fonts. So I like Montserrat. I'm going to go ahead and choose Montserrat. And let me just go ahead now and publish my changes. And let me show you how my login page now looks like. This is pretty cool, right? Pretty awesome. Nice background image. Nice text. I love it. One of the coolest features of this plugin is the fact that you can create something known as an auto login URL. So let's say you have certain users on your site whom you don't want to be able to use a password. All you got to do is to come in here, search for the username. In this case, I have a user called Monk and the plugin will create an auto login URL. So let's try this out. I'm going to go ahead now and copy this URL. Let's go to Firefox. Let's paste the link over here and let's see what happens. And there you go, Monk has automatically been logged in simply by using this auto login URL. Really, really cool feature. Also, with the pro version of the plugin, you have access to enhanced security features, such as the ability to hide or rename your login slug. You can also limit login attempts. You can whitelist IP addresses. You can blacklist them as well. And you can also create login redirects specifically for users or roles. 
And finally, you have the ability to allow users to log in using their social media accounts. So you have the option of enabling Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or even LinkedIn. And this is how the one for Facebook looks like. I actually enabled logging in using Facebook. And as you can see right now, users have the ability to log in with their Facebook accounts. So there you have it, the complete guide to rebranding your login page using the login press plugin. Now you can decide to stick with the free version of the plugin, or you can decide to go with the available uh, premium versions. In my opinion, I think plus is very, very good pro. Obviously is the best, but it's also the most expensive. So you can either go for the plus version or even maybe the basic version, which is just 29 bucks. This would at least give you access to all the pre-designed login templates. And you'll also have access to the Google recapture and Google fonts. Now I will have a link in the description box below. That's my affiliate link. So if you buy any of the premium versions of the plugin using my link, I will get a small commission that will help me to keep on making videos like this. So thank you so much for supporting me. I would really appreciate it. And I really hope that overall you've enjoyed this video, this tutorial. If you did, please leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I publish a new video so you don't miss anything out. Thank you so much and until next time, bye-bye.